Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4 and it's my part 9 already uh, for my leveling guide. So yesterday I showed you guys how you need to get the Breams. I think that's still the best uh, money maker in my opinion. Uh, so what did I do? I went for Kyoro for the Burbot. It was not really a success. I got Burbot, but yeah, one day 25 silver. That was not really good because I need to fish with night crawlers. So at Kyoro Lake, you can still buy them. But I'm going to show you guys in this video how you need to go for the Tench. Because the Tench is a very good money and experience fish. I got today five. Uh, so uh, it's not bad, but I think that Berg is at the moment a little bit dead because uh, I was not catching a lot of tench either on the competition with my main account. So I'm going to show you guys two good spots uh, because the main problem is that we are going to use cheese. How are you going to get cheese? If you are level 16, you can go to Kyoro Lake and there is a, a diary. And in that diary in the shop, you can see it. So it's just... Uh, the cafe and then you need to go on the other side of the cafe so left you turn left and there you can buy it so you need to buy the cheese over there and then you need to have this in crafting cheese cubes you just put the cheese it looks like this then you need to put the cheese in it and then you just need to click on it you craft it and then you are going to get 20 pieces of cheese and cheese is very good for the tents. It's the best for the tents. Uh, a lot of people say you don't need it but yeah that's bullshit uh, I I will like, have a look to the weeklies. So let's go to the weeklies. Let's have a look to Tench. Check. It's the best that you can have for Tench. And Nightcrawlers too here. That's good. So go first to Cure Lake. Get you like five uh, pieces of cheese. Make 100 cubes and then you come back to here. You don't need to do a lot. So you can ju just use the same hooks. Uh, you can... Uh, yeah, just use the same ground bait too. They like the maggots, so put some maggots in it uh, until you can unlock the ground bait. But that, that's going to take a long time because the ground bait of the tench is over here. I think it's 50%. You need corn flour, you need bread crumbs, and you need hemp seed oil. But if you just make crackers and just put some fly maggots in it, it will work too. So that's how it is. At the moment, I'm at the 64.23. Uh, the position is very important in this lake because there is one major problem with cheese that the grass carp likes it too. So, uh, if you are not used uh, to fight a big fish, it can be hard. So, if you see at one moment, I didn't get one grass carp here, so I'm going to show you guys two positions that are, yeah, relative grass carp free. But you can always get a grass carp. So if you see that your pole is going away, a, trip, uh, a tip that I can give you guys is go after it or just do Alt F4. If you do Alt F4 in this game, it closes, you come back to the game and all your equipment is okay. So that's a tip that I give to you guys. Don't think that you can max drag a grass carp in with this setup. It's not going to happen. If you got a grass carp of 4 kilograms on this test and this setup, you are going to fight it for a couple of hours. So it's not really worth it. I didn't get it today uh, on this spot. On another spot, I had a very small one. So always think about that. So don't do silly things. Don't uh, put the drag too high because you think. Don't go away from your rods. Never do that in Oldburg. That's very, very, very important. Okay, so for my setup, just the same as yesterday. So you still need to use a leader for tench. So normally, if we do the competition, we use here a 9.6 and we go with one hook, uh, the bloody uh, hooks. Uh, but at the moment, yeah, I don't have the resources to buy that. So I'm just using the whitefish hooks. It works too. I'm using one sweet doll that is uh, for the carps, the small carps. Otherwise, it's a waiting game. You need to wait a long time because you are going to catch maybe 5 to 10 tenches in a day. So don't put on all three cheese. That's not, not needed because Gibble Carp pays the, the bills too. You guys will see it. Then my other setup, that cheese, of course. And then the last setup is Night Crawlers. Why Night Crawlers at night? For the eel. So you can get everywhere here eel. So the moment that you see it's night, just put a night crawler on it. Buy it in Kyoro, as I already said. In the morning, I'm going to sw switch to just a simple worm or sweet dough again on the first one. So don't go with three cheeses on three rods on like this area because it's way too much. 
it's three times the same setup it's not going to benefit you anything so try to diverse your bait and then you are going to make the most money okay this is a very good spot i will go really quick to town now so if you guys want to go really quick to town there is a trick over here so i'm going to show you guys the other spot the other spot is not so safe as this spot so let's have a look uh, so there has to be a log in the water and you need to run over it and then you fall in the water and then the next uh, yeah the next step you will be in town so here it is so there you go now we are in town so where you need to go that's the first or the second uh, spot that I showed you guys no the spot in the second or the third video when I came to Oldburg it's over here here you can catch it too so that's it a little bit guys i will show you guys what kind of money it pays the tench very good fish at the moment i need to say it's a little bit dead to be honest berg is not so good it's now for one week uh yeah i don't know what is happening at the moment did they tune to town you never know in this game so yeah but it's something else because otherwise you need to go for the premium the whole time so here you can see a, a, a one kilogram tench gives five silver so I got, uh, how much do I got? 34 silver for a half a day of fishing. So if the tench is biting and you got like 10 of 1 kilogram, it's 50 silver. And it's around almost 10,000 experience. So here you can see it, guys. That was my part 9 for my leveling guide. Have fun on the two positions that I showed you guys. Remember the grass carp, this fellow. Alt F4, just to Alt F4. If you know what you are doing. Just follow the fish, don't do silly things, because with this setup you got 110 meters, uh, you cannot get spooled by that fish, but if you got the time you can get him in too. You can get in this game with every setup, every fish in. I got with the lower setup, I think my 25 kilogram mirror carp in, it took me like 4 hours in real life, but I did it, because I even got a video about it. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope to see you in the next video, I hope the next video is going to be Kyori. Uh, but it's going to take some time because I tested today with the Lacarti uh, trolling in Kyoro and uh, I had one fish and it was an eight. So I went with, uh, with the hypnotics to not attract the very big fish, but it's possible that I'm going to test the Lacarti with the hunter spoon 1002. Uh, it's the crazy spoon of Kyoro. But that uh, will uh, yeah, be for the next video. So bye bye guys.